Hello, this is Dr. Doug Tibble for Redis Labs with a totally scientific demonstration that shows how Redis stores more data more efficiently than... I'll start with two identical coffee cups that have an identical amount of coffee in them. The coffee represents identical data stored in Redis, which is written in C, and which is written in Java. In addition to the data itself, Redis uses C pointer structures to manage the data. I'll represent those pointers with some sugar. In <laughs> values are stored as serialized objects, so there are wrappers and JVM object headers to manage the data. I'll represent those object headers and wrappers with some sugar as well. From there, Redis Enterprise manages cluster metadata and platform overhead separate from the application data. So we're done with the Redis cup. Redis has overhead too, but you're not charged for it like you are with... Back to our experiment. If you need to ensure consistency across regions, requires extra storage for concurrency checks. I'll represent that extra storage with the suspension of Cajun spices in olive oil. In addition, it requires some overhead to manage persistence. I'll represent that with some enchilada sauce. Finally, the Java platform itself imposes a roughly 30% overhead for locators, JMX data, statistics, and other things. With per core licensing, you pay for that overhead. With Redis's per shard licensing, you don't. At any rate, I'll represent that overhead with some ethically harvested ranch dressing. To continue our experiment, let's say I have to pay for my coffee by the ounce. All I wanted was a cup of coffee with sugar, but with <laughs> I have to pay for all of this extra stuff. But what about the taste? First, I'll try the Redis cup. Mmm. Brisk and refreshing, just like a great cup of coffee should be. Now for the <laughs> cup. Excuse me. We've used the scientific method to illustrate that Redis has a more mellow, satisfying taste. But the real point here is cost. There's larger storage requirements and per core licensing mean that sooner or later, you'll need more ah! licenses to store the same amount of data. We hope you'll keep that in mind when thinking about storage and data density. For Redis Labs, this is Dr. Doug Tidwell thanking you for sciencing with us. Cheers.